My name is Colleen Eves. I'm an RN BSN right now. I will be graduating with my RN MSN. I chose Texas a and Corpus Christi because of the proximity of my family um, right after high school. It allowed me to be close but still get a really good education. The nursing program here is really great. And so when it was time to come back for my master's degree, I knew the staff here already, the professors, and I knew I would get a, a good education. And so that's why I chose to come back. Also, the master's program is all online, and so it's very flexible. It allows you to work, uh, take care of your family, and then also get your degree. For most of the program, I was working 40 hours, had the two kids, and then my husband, um, who had a job where he was um, in another country at different times. And so that was really difficult for me. Dr. Bunny Forjone, Dr. Yolanda Keys, and especially Dr. Eve Lehman have really helped guide me through the program. Whenever I was discouraged or lost my motivation, um, each of those uh, professors were, were there for me um, to answer my questions and, and, and motivate me to continue on. I am ecstatic to be graduating from Texas A&M Corpus Christi. It is a beautiful campus. Uh, it's got a very great educational program for the Masters of Nursing. And I, I've been waiting for this for several years. To my fellow graduates, we finally did it. Our day is here. It makes all the struggles worth it. Now let's take all this energy and go set fire to the world. The sound of cascading water. It was there in 1947 and continues on today. As strong as the Islander tradition. A tradition of pride in the blue and green. A memory of our achievement on the island. And a reminder that we stand prepared to take on anything. So for as long as those waves continue to crash onto the island, Texas A&M Corpus Christi graduates will yell with fervor. I am an Islander. I am an Islander. My name is Thomas Kisito Wachuku, but everybody knows me as Kisito, Father Kisito. I'm a priest chaplain at uh, Christus Spawn Hospital Memorial, uh, where I've been since 1998. I came into the program here in uh, 2004, uh, entered uh, the doctoral program studying uh, counselor education, which uh, I'm finishing this August. Actually, I almost wouldn't have finished because in 2011, during the spring break, I happened to be hit by a young man uh, who was uh, doing almost 80 miles an hour on the 45 speed limit. Uh, my car was completely crushed. If I didn't have uh, the strength from inside me, uh, that would have derailed uh, I wouldn't be talking about graduation now. The Bible says, to whom much is given, uh, much is expected of. Uh, so having gotten this degree, that shouldn't be the end of it. And what would be a degree if it is not used? A knowledge that is not used, you know, uh, as, as time goes on, would be no knowledge. So I would encourage uh, the graduates to keep, you know, exploring new avenues and then put into practice what they have learned. So right now, <laughs> my only joy is that I've finished this, uh, what I started, uh, I didn't quit 
you know, in the end. My name is Shantae Brunig, and today I would like to thank God, my family, and my professors. I would especially like to thank my mom, Dorothy, my dad, Dennis, and my fiance, Cody, for their everlasting guidance and support. I definitely wouldn't be walking across the stage today if it wasn't for my amazing support system. I love y'all. I want to thank my family for all of their unconditional love and support. Without your support and faith in me, I wouldn't be the woman I am today. I am truly blessed, and I appreciate and love you all so very much. Mommy loves you, Melina. Okay, so I just want to say a special thank you to my parents um, for all of their support. I definitely would not have made it this far and um, accomplished this goal if it wasn't for their help and their support and their assistance. Um, you know, we had some rough times, but we made it through, and things are really, really good. Um, I want to say thank you to all my friends for understanding um, the points when I couldn't go hang out, even though I really wanted to, because I had to stay home and study. And um, I want to say thank you to all of my coworkers, um, you know, for their support as well. I want to say thank you to um, my clinical supervisor, my site, Brent, um, for really pushing me and um, helping me get to where I want to be in the profession and actually be able to practice with a license. I would like to say thank you to all the professors for all of their support and their encouragement. Um, and definitely making me um, who I am right now professionally. And I just really hope to grow as the time goes on. And with anybody else that I forgot to say thank you, I'm sorry, but thank you. I think that's about it. Your name is on the diploma. Now leave your mark on the island. A paver in the Walk of Recognition is the perfect way to commemorate your time at Texas A&M University Corpus Christi. Made of quality materials ensuring durability, each paver can be customized with the name of the student, major, club, or organization, and year of graduation. And on the larger 8x8 paver, you have the option to include one of five beautiful seals from the university's long and rich history. Proceeds of a paver on the Walk of Recognition directly support student scholarships. You'll relive memories when you return to your alma mater and see your paver appropriately displayed. Pavers are placed in the Center for Instruction Courtyard. For information on how to order your paver for the Walk of Recognition, contact the Student Foundation at 361-825-5558 today. My name is Colleen Eves. I'm an RN BSN right now. I will be graduating with my RN MSN. I chose Texas A&M Corpus Christi because of the proximity of my family um, right after high school. It allowed me to be close but still get a really good education. The nursing program here is really great. And so when it was time to come back for my master's degree, I knew the staff here already, the professors, and I knew I would get a, a good education. And so that's why I chose to come back also, the master's program is all online, and so it's very flexible. It allows you to work, uh, take care of your family, and then also get your degree. For most of the program, I was working 40 hours, had the two kids, and then my husband, um, who had a job where he was um, in another country at different times, and so that was really difficult for me. Dr. Bunny Forjone, Dr. Yolanda Keys, and especially Dr. Eve Lehman have really helped guide me through the program. 
whenever I was discouraged or lost my motivation, um, each of those uh, professors were, were there for me um, to answer my questions and, and, and motivate me to continue on. I am ecstatic to be graduating from Texas A&M Corpus Christi. It is a beautiful campus. Uh, it's got a very great educational program for the Masters of Nursing. And I, I've been waiting for this for several years. To my fellow graduates, we finally did it. Our day is here. It makes all the struggles worth it. Now let's take all this energy and go set fire to the world. Freshman year, it wasn't too long ago that students were at first year Islander Convocation. It's the first induction ceremony where students get their official FYI medallion. The bronze medallion is a symbol of a student's commitment to pursue higher education and the university's commitment to support them every step of the way. Today, first year Islanders participants are wearing their medallions to show off how their pursuit has paid off. First Year Islanders, another one-of-a-kind award-winning program at Texas A&M Corpus Christi, the Island University. The sound of cascading water. It was there in 1947 and continues on today. As strong as the Islander tradition. A tradition of pride in the blue and green. A memory of our achievement on the island. And a reminder that we stand prepared to take on anything. So for as long as those waves continue to crash onto the island, Texas A&M Corpus Christi graduates will yell with fervor. I am an Islander. I am an Islander. My name is Thomas Kisito Wachuku, but everybody knows me as Kisito, Father Kisito. I'm a priest chaplain at uh, Christus Spawn Hospital Memorial, uh, where I've been since 1998. I came into the program here in uh, 2004, uh, entered uh, the doctoral program studying uh, counselor education, which uh, I'm finishing this August. Actually, I almost wouldn't have finished because in 2011, during the spring break, I happened to be hit by a young man uh, who was uh, doing almost 80 miles an hour on the 45 speed limit. Uh, my car was completely crushed. If I didn't have uh, the strength from inside me, uh, that would have derailed uh, I wouldn't be talking about graduation now. The Bible says, to whom much is given, uh, much is expected of. Uh, so having gotten this degree, 
that shouldn't be the end of it. And what would be a degree if it is not used? And knowledge that is not used, you know, uh, as, as time goes on, would be no knowledge. So I would encourage uh, the graduates to keep, you know, exploring new avenues and then put into practice what they have learned. So right now, <laughs> my only joy is that I've finished this. Uh, what I started, uh, I didn't quit you know, in the end. Hi, my name is Shantae Brunig, and today I would like to thank God, my family, and my professors. I would especially like to thank my mom, Dorothy, my dad, Dennis, and my fiance, Cody, for their everlasting guidance and support. I definitely wouldn't be walking across the stage today if it wasn't for my amazing support system. I love y'all. I want to thank my family for all of their unconditional love and support. Without your support and faith in me, I wouldn't be the woman I am today. I am truly blessed, and I appreciate and love you all so very much. Mommy loves you, Melina. Okay, so I just want to say a special thank you to my parents um, for all of their support. I definitely would not have made it this far and um, accomplished this goal if it wasn't for their help and their support and their assistance. Um, you know, we had some rough times, but we made it through, and things are really, really good. Um, I want to say thank you to all my friends for understanding um, the points when I couldn't go hang out, even though I really wanted to, because I had to stay home and study. And um, I want to say thank you to all of my coworkers, um, you know, for their support as well. I want to say thank you to um, my clinical supervisor, my site, Brent, um, for really pushing me and um, helping me get to where I want to be in the profession and actually be able to practice with a license. I would like to say thank you to all the professors for all of their support and their encouragement. Um, and definitely making me um, who I am right now professionally. And I just really hope to grow as the time goes on. And with anybody else that I forgot to say thank you, I'm sorry, but thank you. I think that's about it. Freshman year, it wasn't too long ago that students were at first year Islander Convocation. It's the first induction ceremony where students get their official FYI medallion. The bronze medallion is a symbol of a student's commitment to pursue higher education and the university's commitment to support them every step of the way. Today, first year Islanders participants are wearing their medallions to show off how their pursuit has paid off. First Year Islanders, another one-of-a-kind award-winning program at Texas A&M Corpus Christi, the Island University. Your name is on the diploma. Now leave your mark on the island. A paver in the Walk of Recognition is the perfect way to commemorate your time at Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi. Made of quality materials ensuring durability, each paver can be customized with the name of the student, major, club, or organization, and year of graduation. And on the larger 8x8 paver, you have the option to include one of five beautiful seals from the university's long and rich history. Proceeds of a paver on the Walk of Recognition directly support student scholarships. You'll relive memories when you return to your alma mater and see your paver appropriately displayed. Pavers are placed in the Center for Instruction Courtyard. For information on how to order your paver for the Walk of Recognition, contact the Student Foundation at 361-825-5558 today. My name is Colleen Eves. I'm an RN BSN right now. I will be graduating with my RN MSN. I chose Texas a and Corpus Christi because of the proximity of my family um, right after high school. It allowed me to be close but still get a really good education. The nursing program here is really great. And so when it was time to come back for my master's degree, I knew the staff here already, the professors, and I knew I would get a, a good education. And so that's why I chose to come back also, the master's program is all online, and so it's very flexible. It allows you to work, uh, take care of your family, and then also get your degree. 
for most of the program I was working 40 hours, had the two kids and then my husband um, who had a job where he was um, in another country at, at different times and so that was really difficult for me. Dr. Bunny Forjone, Dr. Yolanda Keys, and especially Dr. Eve Lehman have really helped guide me through the program. Whenever I was discouraged or lost my motivation, um, each of those uh, professors were, were there for me um, to answer my questions and, and, and motivate me to continue on. I am ecstatic to be graduating from Texas A&M Corpus Christi. It is a beautiful campus. Uh, it's got a very great educational program for the Masters of Nursing. And I've, I've been waiting for this for several years. To my fellow graduates, we finally did it. Our day is here. It makes all the struggles worth it. Now let's take all this energy and go set fire to the world. The sound of cascading water. It was there in 1947 and continues on today. As strong as the Islander tradition. A tradition of pride in the blue and green. A memory of our achievement on the island. And a reminder that we stand prepared to take on anything. So for as long as those waves continue to crash onto the island, Texas A&M Corpus Christi graduates will yell with fervor. I am an Islander. I am an Islander. My name is Thomas Kisito Wachuku, but everybody knows me as Kisito, Father Kisito. I'm a priest chaplain at uh, Christus Spawn Hospital Memorial, uh, where I've been since 1998. I came into the program here in uh, 2004, uh, entered uh, the doctoral program studying uh, counselor education, which uh, I'm finishing this August. Actually, I almost wouldn't have finished because in 2011, during the spring break, I happened to be hit by a young man uh, who was uh, doing almost 80 miles an hour on the 45 speed limit. Uh, my car was completely crushed. If I didn't have uh, the strength from inside me, uh, that would have derailed uh, I wouldn't be talking about graduation now. The Bible says, to whom much is given, uh, much is expected of. Uh, so having gotten this degree, that shouldn't be the end of it. And what would be a degree if it is not used? A knowledge that is not used, you know, uh, as, as time goes on, would be no knowledge. So I would encourage uh, the graduates to keep, you know, exploring new avenues and then put into practice what they have learned. So right now, <laughs> my only joy is that I've finished this, uh, what I started, uh, I didn't quit you know, in the end. Hi, my name is Shantae Brunig, and today I would like to thank God, my family, and my professors. I would especially like to thank my mom, Dorothy, my dad, Dennis, and my fiance, Cody, for their everlasting guidance and support. I definitely wouldn't be walking across the stage today if it wasn't for my amazing support system. I love y'all. I want to thank my family 
for all of their unconditional love and support. Without your support and faith in me, I wouldn't be the woman I am today. I am truly blessed and I appreciate and love you all so very much. Mommy loves you, Melina. Okay, so I just want to say a special thank you to my parents uh, for all of their support. I definitely would not have made it this far and um, accomplished this goal if it wasn't for their help and their support and their assistance. Um, you know, we had some rough times, but we made it through and things are really, really good. Um, I want to say thank you to all my friends for understanding um, the points when I couldn't go hang out even though I really wanted to because I had to stay home and study. And um, I want to say thank you to all of my coworkers, um, you know, for their support as well. I want to say thank you to um, my clinical supervisor, my site, Brent, um, for really pushing me and um, helping me get to where I want to be in the profession and actually be able to practice with a license. I would like to say thank you to all the professors for all of their support and their encouragement um, and definitely making me um, who I am right now professionally. And I just really hope to grow as the time goes on. And with anybody else that I forgot to say thank you, I'm sorry, but thank you. I think that's about it. Your name is on the diploma. Now leave your mark on the island. A paver in the Walk of Recognition is the perfect way to commemorate your time at Texas A&M University Corpus Christi. Made of quality materials ensuring durability, each paver can be customized with the name of the student, major, club, or organization, and year of graduation. And on the larger 8x8 paver, you have the option to include one of five beautiful seals from the university's long and rich history. Proceeds of a paver on the Walk of Recognition directly support student scholarships. You'll relive memories when you return to your alma mater and see your paver appropriately displayed. Pavers are placed in the Center for Instruction Courtyard. For information on how to order your paver for the Walk of Recognition, contact the Student Foundation at 361-825-5558 today. My name is Colleen Eves. I'm an RN BSN right now. I will be graduating with my RN MSN. I chose Texas A&M Corpus Christi because of the proximity of my family um, right after high school. It allowed me to be close but still get a really good education. The nursing program here is really great. And so when it was time to come back for my master's degree, I knew the staff here already, the professors, and I knew I would get a, a good education. And so that's why I chose to come back also, the master's program is all online, and so it's very flexible. It allows you to work, uh, take care of your family, and then also get your degree. For most of the program, I was working 40 hours, had the two kids, and then my husband, um, who had a job where he was um, in another country at different times, and so that was really difficult for me. Dr. Bunny Forjone, Dr. Yolanda Keys, and especially Dr. Eve Lehman have really helped guide me through the program. Whenever I was discouraged or lost my motivation, um, each of those uh, professors were, were there for me um, to answer my questions and, and, and motivate me to continue on. I am ecstatic to be graduating from Texas A&M Corpus Christi. It is a beautiful campus. Uh, it's got a very great educational program for the Masters of Nursing. And I, I've been waiting for this for several years. To my fellow graduates, we finally did it. Our day is here. It makes all the struggles worth it. Now let's take all this energy and go set fire to the world.
my name is Shantae Brunig, and today I would like to thank God, my family, and my professors. I would especially like to thank my mom, Dorothy, my dad, Dennis, and my fiance, Cody, for their everlasting guidance and support. I definitely wouldn't be walking across the stage today if it wasn't for my amazing support system. I love y'all. I want to thank my family for all of their unconditional love and support. Without your support and faith in me, I wouldn't be the woman I am today. I am truly blessed, and I appreciate and love you all so very much. Mommy loves you, Melina. Okay, so I just want to say a special thank you to my parents uh, for all of their support. I definitely would not have made it this far and um, accomplished this goal if it wasn't for their help and their support and their assistance. Um, you know, we had some rough times, but we made it through, and things are really, really good. Um, I want to say thank you to all my friends for understanding um, the points when I couldn't go hang out, even though I really wanted to, because I had to stay home and study. And um, I want to say thank you to all of my coworkers, um, you know, for their support as well. I want to say thank you to um, my clinical supervisor, my site, Brent, um, for really pushing me and um, helping me get to where I want to be in the profession and actually be able to practice with a license. I would like to say thank you to all the professors for all of their support and their encouragement um, and definitely making me um, who I am right now professionally. And I just really hope to grow as the time goes on. And with anybody else that I forgot to say thank you, I'm sorry, but thank you. I think that's about it. Freshman year, it wasn't too long ago that students were at first year Islander Convocation. It's the first induction ceremony where students get their official FYI medallion. The bronze medallion is a symbol of a student's commitment to pursue higher education and the university's commitment to support them every step of the way. Today, first year Islanders participants are wearing their medallions to show off how their pursuit has paid off. First Year Islanders, another one-of-a-kind award-winning program at Texas A&M Corpus Christi, the Island University. The sound of cascading water. It was there in 1947 and continues on today. As strong as the Islander tradition. A tradition of pride in the blue and green. A memory of our achievement on the island. And a reminder that we stand prepared to take on anything. So for as long as those waves continue to crash onto the island, Texas A&M Corpus Christi graduates will yell with fervor. I am an Islander. I am an Islander. My name is Thomas Kisito Wachuku, but everybody knows me as Kisito, Father Kisito. I'm a priest chaplain at uh, Christus Spawn Hospital Memorial, uh, where I've been since 1998. I came into the program here in uh, 2004, uh, entered uh, the doctoral program studying uh, Council of Education, which uh, I'm finishing this August. Actually, I almost wouldn't have finished because in 2011, 
during the spring break, I happened to be hit by a young man uh, who was uh, doing almost 80 miles an hour on the 45 speed limit. Uh, my car was completely crushed. If I didn't have uh, the strength from inside me, uh, that would have derailed. Uh, I wouldn't be talking about graduation now. The Bible says, to whom much is given, uh, much is expected of. Uh, so having gotten this degree, that shouldn't be the end of it. And what would be a degree if it is not used? A knowledge that is not used, you know, uh, as, as time goes on, would be no knowledge. So I would encourage uh, the graduates to keep, you know, exploring new avenues and then put into practice what they have learned. So right now, <laughs> my only joy is that I've finished this. Uh, what I started, uh, I didn't quit you know, in the end. Hi, my name is Shantae Brunig, and today I would like to thank God, my family, and my professors. I would especially like to thank my mom, Dorothy, my dad, Dennis, and my fiance, Cody, for their everlasting guidance and support. I definitely wouldn't be walking across the stage today if it wasn't for my amazing support system. I love y'all. I want to thank my family for all of their unconditional love and support. Without your support and faith in me, I wouldn't be the woman I am today. I am truly blessed, and I appreciate and love you all so very much. Mommy loves you, Melina. Okay, so I just want to say a special thank you to my parents um, for all of their support. I definitely would not have made it this far and um, accomplished this goal if it wasn't for their help and their support and their assistance. Um, you know, we had some rough times, but we made it through, and things are really, really good. Um, I want to say thank you to all my friends for understanding um, the points when I couldn't go hang out, even though I really wanted to, because I had to stay home and study. And um, I want to say thank you to all of my coworkers, um, you know, for their support as well. I want to say thank you to um, my clinical supervisor, my site, Brent, um, for really pushing me and um, helping me get to where I want to be in the profession and actually be able to practice with a license. I would like to say thank you to all the professors for all of their support and their encouragement um, and definitely making me um, who I am right now professionally. And I just really hope to grow as the time goes on. And with anybody else that I forgot to say thank you, I'm sorry, but thank you. I think that's about it. Freshman year, it wasn't too long ago that students were at first year Islander Convocation. It's the first induction ceremony where students get their official FYI medallion. The bronze medallion is a symbol of a student's commitment to pursue higher education and the university's commitment to support them every step of the way. Today, first year Islanders participants are wearing their medallions to show off how their pursuit has paid off. First Year Islanders, another one-of-a-kind award-winning program at Texas A&M Corpus Christi, the Island University. Your name is on the diploma. Now leave your mark on the island. A paver in the Walk of Recognition is the perfect way to commemorate your time at Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi. Made of quality materials ensuring durability, each paver can be customized with the name of the student, major, club, or organization, and year of graduation. And on the larger 8x8 paver, you have the option to include one of five beautiful seals from the university's long and rich history. Proceeds of a paver on the Walk of Recognition directly support student scholarships. You'll relive memories when you return to your alma mater and see your paver appropriately displayed. Pavers are placed in the Center for Instruction Courtyard. For information on how to order your paver for the Walk of Recognition, contact the Student Foundation at 361-825-5558 today.
Hello everyone and welcome to Texas A&M University Corpus Christi's Summer 2015 Commencement being held at the American Bank Center in beautiful downtown Corpus Christi. Delivering today's commencement address is Islander alumna and Corpus Christi Council member Colleen McIntyre. And now, Texas A&M University Corpus Christi President and CEO, Dr. Flavius Killebrew. Welcome to today's commencement. I'm Flavius Killebrew, President and CEO of Texas A&M University Corpus Christi. Several years ago, you started down the long road that led to this moment. Today, you call yourself an Islander University alum. Know that you can stand tall when you proclaim that you went to Texas A&M Corpus Christi on the verge of becoming an emerging research institution and one that is recognized worldwide for its excellence. The people here today celebrating with you are likely the same ones who support you on your journey. The steps you take across the stage today signify the end of one chapter of your life and the beginning of another. You can take pride in knowing that the degrees you will take home today command respect and recognition in the field. Our nationally recognized programs have given you hands-on experience with cutting-edge technology that will set you apart from the rest. Let me share a few of the areas where our students are already making a name for themselves. Our E-Line military program, which gives college credit to service members for their experience in the military, was the first of its kind. It was recognized by the White House as being used as a model to create more programs like it all over the country. It's one of the programs that helped make Texas A&M Corpus Christi a top 10 online nursing program in the country, according to US News and World Report. The world-renowned Heart Research Institute for Gulf of Mexico Studies has been named a center of excellence by the governor of Texas. That means as part of the Restore Act, Millions of dollars in Deepwater Horizon fines could flow through the center to boost already robust research and monitoring of the Gulf of Mexico. Our scientists and students will collaborate with world-renowned experts. We will also continue exploration of abandoned oil rigs in the Gulf and studying government ethanol policies. We are leading the way in unmanned research from the depths of the Gulf where we have remotely operated vehicles roving the seafloor to the skies over South Texas where our unmanned aerial systems have garnered an FAA UAS test site. And did I mention we have a researcher on the cutting edge of testing ionized gas called cold plasma to safely rid food of dangerous bacteria without changing the taste. He and his students are also researching killing cancer cells and wound healing with various applications of cold plasma. We have students here today who took advantage of our unique placement as the nation's premier geographic information systems innovator by creating mapping technologies of tomorrow and students from the College of Liberal Arts who are now prepared to reach for the stars. Possibilities for A&M Corpus Christi grads are endless. Whether you spent your college years doing groundbreaking research in our state-of-the-art kinesiology labs or perhaps in our counselor education program, which was the first in the nation to receive double accreditation. Our alumni include a retired vice president from Walmart, entrepreneurs, and even an inventor. Your degree is from no ordinary school. It is more than just a piece of paper. Your diploma is a sign to others that you can take on the world. I look forward to sharing your successes with future graduating classes. Thank you and congratulations.
Good morning. I'm Flavius Killebrew, President and Chief Executive Officer of Texas A&M University Corpus Christi. On behalf of the faculty and staff of Texas A&M Corpus Christi, I'm pleased to welcome you, our honored graduates, proud parents, families, and friends of the university, to our 2015 Summer Commencement Ceremony. I'm excited to tell you that this summer we have 453 students in our graduating class. There will be several times during the ceremony this morning that we will ask the graduates and members of the audience to stand. When asked, please do so as you are able. Now please stand for the presentation of the colors by Texas A&M University Corpus Christi's ROTC Islander Battalion and remain standing for the national anthem to be sung by Ms. Janelle Stollard, a student majoring in music in the School of Arts, Media, and Communication of the College of Liberal Arts. Gentlemen, please remove your hats. Please be seated. <clears throat> Please help me welcome Ms. Terry McDivitt, Vice Chancellor for Marketing and Communications of the Texas A&M University System. Ms. McDivitt brings us greetings from the Texas A&M University System and will authorize the conferral of degrees. Members of the Texas A&M University Corpus Christi Class of 2015 and the families and friends who helped make this occasion possible. On behalf of Chancellor John Sharp, the Board of Regents, and the entire Texas A&M System family, it is my honor to join you in this wonderful celebration of your achievements so far and the great things that lie ahead. Today is a special day. As you prepare to walk across this stage and into the next chapter of your lives, I know that you will be well prepared for all of these challenges thanks to this university and to the encouragement and support you received from Dr. Killebrew and the wonderful faculty and staff here. You can look around at your classmates, too, and see the excitement you are feeling reflected in their faces. Remember, as you go on from here, you're all part of the Islander family and you will remain so. You should each be very proud of what you've accomplished. We certainly are very proud of all of you. Now, on behalf of the Chancellor of the Texas 
A&M System and by the authority of the Texas A&M University System Board of Regents, it is my sincere pleasure to authorize President Talent, and I'm sorry, President Killebrew, I was in Kingsville yesterday, sorry. <laughs> President Killebrew to confer the respective academic degree for which you have been recommended with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. Congratulations. I wish you all great good fortune, great success, and most of all, happiness. At this time, I would like to introduce members of the platform party who will not be introduced elsewhere in the program. If you would please hold your applause until all have been introduced. Dr. Don Albright, Vice President for Student Engagement and Success. Mr. Terry Tatum, Interim Vice President for Finance and Administration. Ms. Margaret Deccan, Associate Vice President for Enrollment Management. Let's thank these folks for being here. I'd also like to recognize the President's ambassadors that are serving as marshals for our graduates this morning. I thank the, the President's ambassadors, too. <laughs> to speak today, we are pleased to have with us Councilwoman Colleen McIntyre. Ms. McIntyre is serving her second term as the District 4 representative on the Corpus Christi City Council. She was a founding me board member of Island United, served on the Erosion Response Plan team, and on the Island Strategic Action Committee. She currently serves on the Council of Governments and the Education to Employment Consortium, and is the chair of the Municipal Court Committee. She has a bachelor's degree in, in mathematics and education from Texas A&M University, Kingsville, and a master's degree in curriculum instruction in supervision from uh, Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi. She teaches math at Seashore Middle Academy and is also a certified internet recruiter. Colleen has volunteered in several areas of the community, including Boy Scouts, coaching soccer and kickball, turtle patrol, religious education and parks development. She became involved with the creation and operation of the Island Foundation and Seashore Learning Center where she held several board positions and served as president for 10 years. During her tenure, the foundation expanded the Seashore Learning Center and the Early Childhood Program and opened Seashore Middle Academy. Colleen's love of math, science, and education inspired her to form and lead the consortium that brought the Voyage from the Solar System exhibit to the Bayfront, as well as classroom visits from astrophysicists from around the country. Colleen, her husband, Dr. Jack McIntyre, and their four children have lived on Padre Island since 1991. Please join me in welcoming Councilwoman Colleen McIntyre. Thank you. Good morning, and thank you for that introduction. It's on my resume. <laughs> um, last year, through the Alumni Association, w which I hope all of you will join, I, I was able to uh, assist many graduates and speak with them while I was distributing their lays. Uh, I appreciate the promotion, Dr. Killebrew, this time to be able to speak with all of the graduates uh, up here today. And I uh, also want to thank you for your leadership, for your leadership in our beloved Island University. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Killebrew, for your family's support of our wonderful university, and my, my husband, Jack, who's up there somewhere, uh, for support of me. I'd also like to thank the vice presidents, provosts, deans, presidents, ambassadors, all the faculty and staff, and the rest of the platform guests for all of your contributions to the success of the students before us today. I'm so happy to be here among fellow Islanders to congratulate you, your parents, your family, and your friends. What a special day. I look out among you and I recall my own graduation and think of the many things that have changed in my life since that day too many years ago when I graduated with a degree in mathematics and secondary education. The mathematics piece is important because I became a math teacher because I hate writing. Like people who hate carrots, I really hate writing. So when I was asked to speak with you today, 
being one who perpetually says yes, I said yes, and then I immediately panicked. You know, sit for a 30-minute Q&A, no problem. Give a two-minute welcome address, piece of cake. But craft and deliver a 10 to 15-minute speech, this is going to be painful for me or my audience or quite possibly both of us. So I started like you would with a term paper. I research. So I look for how long to speak, 10 to 15 minutes. You'll be very happy to know that I always err on the short time limit. About what to say and about my audience. I checked out your Yik Yak page. You guys post some scary stuff. I'm not going there. <laughs> I even crowdsourced it. Gosh, I wish people on social media had strong opinions. So I gathered all this information and reflected on my own path since graduation. So I gra departed the graduation ceremony, raring to go, in a gown much cuter than the ones we had in high school. But sadly, we had no fresh lays. I was a teacher, the best math teacher these kids were ever going to see. I'd learned everything there was to learn and was chomping at the bit, ready to use it. So on the first day, I walk into my middle school classroom, and one of my students is absent. His girlfriend's in the class as well, and she very kindly tells me that he had to meet with his probation officer. A seventh grader, probation. When I was in seventh grade, I think I was making Barbie swimming pools out of Tupperware. At that moment, I realized my education would continue long after graduation. My students would need math skills, and then some. Some of you will be entering a classroom, some a hospital room, an engineering firm, a small or large business. You'll have an opportunity to see or hear something unexpected, something your education didn't directly prepare you for, but you'll see that it did. Education is not just about filling your head with knowledge. While there is plenty of knowledge to be acquired, the most important skills that you've developed are, hopefully, the love of learning and a desire to figure out how to apply your education to making a living and making a life. We are always learning, whether from a seventh grade kid on probation or from the elderly patient who reports that he has no medical history of high blood pressure, along with a medication list that clearly shows he does. We learn that while we've not been given that answer on any Scantron, we do have the ability to find the answers using the skills we developed on our way to earning these wonderful diplomas. A friend of mine, Julie, once asked me to cat sit for, for a week. Every day, I'd head over, spend some time with the cat, clean up after him, and leave him some food. So around day six, as I approach the house, this poor cat is sitting on the doorstep. I can't believe he managed to slip out with me the night before. I'm feeling awful that he'd spent the whole night out there and relieved that nothing happened to him. I scooped him up, let myself in, and took care of all things cat. The next day, Julie called to ask me how in the world she ended up with two cats. So another lesson, slow down. Slow down enough to be present to your tasks so you won't add an extra cat to a, a situation that clearly needs only one. Slow down enough to learn about and from everyone in your life, employees at all levels, the village that will help you along the way. Ask about their days and their lives and really listen to the answers. The secretaries, they really are in charge. The custodians, bosses, colleagues, customers, students. There is something to be learned or simply enjoyed in each of these relationships. Say yes to opportunities to grow in your career and in your personal life. 
After teaching for five years, I became a stay-at-home mom for our four children. Such a misnomer. I know very few stay-at-home moms who actually do. They're all over the place, most especially at our kids' schools, and I was no exception. Remember when I said I have a yes problem, assistant coach for soccer? Sure. Kickball? Absolutely. Sunday school? Got it. Well, my neighborhood wanted to start its own public charter school, one of the first 20 in the state. This, <coughs> excuse me, this energetic group who began it asked me to join them, and I said yes. And because I was willing to say yes to my community, I became a part of what is now a fixture on Padre Island, Seashore Learning Center, and of the hundreds of children who build a love of learning on that cheerful campus. See the possibilities. At Seashore, we had a very carefully crafted strategic plan, you know, essential for any business. But about 10 years ago, our principal moved out of state and we were interviewing applicants. One was absolutely amazing. Tremendous experience, perfect attitude, completely committed to student, student success, not entrenched in bureaucracy. The only problem, she was definitely a middle school person. She could have had middle school tattooed across her forehead. Fortunately, she didn't, but I couldn't imagine her with our kindergartners, but I knew that we needed her. So we worked our way to yes. We took that carefully crafted strategic plan, moved it up five years, and hired that woman to build our middle school from the ground up. Both schools benefited from this, and we have the only exemplary middle school south of San Antonio. Because we could see beyond the immediate situation, we could see and embrace the possibilities, and we said yes. Say yes to projects that interest you, even, maybe especially, the ones that are a little outside of your comfort zone. I've always maximized the opportunities for my students to see the relevance in their lessons. The easiest places to find math applications are in business and science. So I subscribe to listservs in both of these areas. Listservs, for those of you out there, are the great, great grandparents of Tumblr and Pinterest. So one entry mentioned an opportunity to put a scale model of the solar system in your community. Wow, we could walk from the sun to the ever controversial Pluto right here in Corpus Christi. Mom, math teacher, school board member, volunteer, nope, nothing here about city permits or solar system exhibits. Not my job, really, but it interested me and I knew it would interest area students. So my first few attempts were less than hopeful. I took each no as a confirmation that I had just asked the wrong person. So from a desire to bring relevance to my classroom, through working with many others, we now have this beautiful and educational exhibit on the Bayfront. And those of you science and math teachers in the room, I hope you take your students there someday. When you embrace opportunities to learn, when you find ways to say yes, and you expand your horizons, the world can take you to places you never imagined. Each project I embraced, each article I read, and the many people that I spoke with gave me knowledge and insight to prepare for bigger projects, like running for and serving on the city council, analyzing and balancing school budgets, decoding the 20 digit codes for each expense while quadruple checking for grant compliance, were skills that now help me to review and understand the 886 page city budget that landed in our laps last week. All of these experiences prepare me for what I'm going to do next, and I may not even be able to imagine what that is. In the meantime, I will continue to learn to say yes, to expand my horizons, to try a new carrot recipe. And I challenge you to do the same. 
Then, many years from now, when you are asked to tell new graduates about the amazing life journey, say yes. Now, go enjoy some cake. The carrots can wait until tomorrow. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Councilwoman McIntyre, for your words of our graduates and their families and friends. While pursuing a degree from Texas A&M University Corpus Christi, our students are privileged to work with an outstanding faculty and professional librarian who are directly responsible for their success. They inspire, motivate, and mentor our students in classes and outside the formal learning experience. They are a very talented, hardworking group committed to providing a high-quality education. With great pride and enthusiasm, that I present to you, the, to you the faculty of Texas A&M University Corpus Christi. Will the faculty please stand and let's thank them for all you do for these students. Our processional today was led by Ms. Julie Plomenko from the College of Nursing and Health Sciences. Ms. Flamenco was selected by her peers for University Excellence Award in Teaching Innovation. Let's give her a round of applause. <laughs> Have a few nursing students here today. <laughs> we will now turn to the important business of conferring degrees. I would like to call on Dr. Kelly Quintanilla, Interim Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, who will present the candidates for graduation. Dr. Quintanilla. At this time, I would like to recognize the academic deans for each college making up Texas A&M University Corpus Christi. The Dean of the College of Business, Dr. John Gamble. The Dean of the College of Education, Dr. Arthur Hernandez. The Interim Dean of the College of Liberal Arts, Dr. Mark Hartlaub. The Dean of the College of Nursing and Health Sciences, Dr. Mary Jane Hamilton. The Dean of the College of Science and Engineering, Dr. Frank Petzl. The Dean of the College of Graduate Studies, Dr. Joanne Canales. Texas A&M University Corpus Christi presently offers courses of study leading to 41 distinct bachelor degrees. Will all the candidates for bachelor's degrees please stand? <laughs> Dr. Killebrew, the faculty and the deans of Texas A&M University Corpus Christi and I are pleased to certify to you that the candidates who appear before you and whose names appear on the official list have met all college and university requirements for the particular bachelor's degree for which they have studied and are entitled to receive the degree. Congratulations. Please be seated. <laughs> Texas A&M University Corpus Christi presently offers courses of study leading to 26 distinct master's degrees. Will all the candidates for master's degrees please stand? <laughs> Dr. Killebrew, the faculty and the deans of Texas A&M University Corpus Christi and I are pleased to certify to you that the candidates who appear before you and whose names appear on the official list have met all college and university requirements for the master's degree for which they have studied and are entitled to receive the degree. Congratulations. Please be seated. <laughs> Texas A&M University Corpus Christi presently offers courses of study leading to six terminal degrees. We have also received recently approval for a new doctorate in geospatial computing science that will begin in the fall of this year and for a doctorate in nursing practice that will begin in the fall of 2016. Will the candidates for the doctoral degrees please stand? <laughs> Dr. Killebrew, 
The faculty and the deans of Texas A&M University Corpus Christi and I are pleased to certify to you that the candidates who be appear before you and whose names appear on the official list have met all college and university requirements for the terminal degree for which they have studied and are entitled to receive the degree. Congratulations. Now, would all candidates please stand and remain standing? Dr. Killebrew, would you join me at the podium? By the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of the Texas A&M University System, I hereby confer upon you the particular degree to which you are entitled with all of the honors, rights, privileges, prerogatives, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Those uh, earning a bachelor's degree may, may now turn your class ring to face outward and shift your tassel from the right to the left, symbolizing the awarding of the degree. I offer my congratulations and those of the, co the faculty and staff to you and your accomplishments. to make special mention of those bachelor degree students that will graduate with academic honors. These honor students must have completed at least 45 undergraduate semester hours at a and Corpus Christi. This morning we have 69 students receiving these honors. Students graduating cum laude, they will graduate cum laude if their grade point average is 3.5 to 3.699. Students graduating cum laude can be distinguished by their green cord. Would you please stand and be recognized? Congratulations. You may be seated. Students graduate magna cum laude if their grade point average is a 3.7 through a 3.899. Students graduating magna cum laude can be distinguished by their blue cord. Would you please stand? Congratulations. You may be seated. Students graduate summa cum laude if their grade point average is 3.9 or above. Silver cords distinguish the students graduating summa cum laude. Would you please stand and be recognized? Congratulations. You may be seated. This morning, we have two undergraduate students that are graduating with a perfect 4.0 GPA. Would you please stand and be recognized? These are significant academic accomplishments, and on behalf of our faculty, staff, and all present this morning, I extend our sincerest congratulations. We will now proceed to the hooding of doctoral candidates. Doctoral degrees are considered the highest degree one can achieve in United States universities. Texas A&M Corpus Christi has been granting doctoral degrees since spring 1995, and we will recognize candidates who will be receiving these doctoral degrees. This morning, we will award four Doctor of Philosophy in Counselor Education degrees and one Doctor of Philosophy in Curriculum and Instruction degree from the College of Education. From the College of Science and Engineering, we will award two Doctor of Philosophy in Coastal and Marine Science System degrees and one Doctor of Philosophy in Marine Biology degree. Dr. Hernandez, Dean of the College of Education, along with the graduate's major professors, will assist in the hooding of the doctoral candidates in the College of Education. Dr. Petzl, Dean of the College of Science and Engineering, along with the graduate's major professors, will assist in the hooding of our PhD candidates in the College of Science and Engineering. Dr. Luisa Fuentes, Vice President of Research, Commercialization, and Outreach, will read the names and the dissertation topics for the candidates. I would ask President Killebrew to join us as we hood our doctoral candidates. Dr. Thomas Kizitu Wachagu, Doctor of Philosophy in Counselor Education, the 
assisting are Dean Art Hernandez and Dr. Richard Ricard Chair. Dissertation title, Long-Term Marriages Among Nigerian Immigrants, a Qualitative Inquiry. Receiving a doctoral degree from the College of Education, Dr. Jose R. Palacios III, Doctor of Philosophy in Counselor Education. Assisting are Dean Art Hernandez and Dr. Marverin Oliver Chair. Dissertation title, Experiences of Co-Counseling Among Counselors in Training. Receiving a doctoral degree from the College of Education, Dr. Helena Gale Rendoni, Doctor of Philosophy in Counselor Education. Assisting are Dean Art Hernandez and Dr. Marverine Oliver Chair. Dissertation title, The Lived Experiences of Principals, Counselors, and High School Students Who Participated in the Character First Guidance Education Program. Receiving a doctoral degree from the College of Education, Dr. Wayne D. Smith, Doctor of Philosophy in Counselor Education, assisting are Dean Art Hernandez and Dr. Marverine Oliver Chair. Dissertation title, Effects of Differentiation of Self and Proactive Behaviors on Career Decision Making of College Students. Receiving a doctoral degree from the College of Education, Dr. Juana Zell McCoy Pierce, Doctor of Philosophy in Curriculum and Instruction. Assisting are Dean Art Hernandez and Dr. Daniel Pierce, Chair. Dissertation title, Prediction of Pre-Service Teachers' Knowledge and Reading of Children's Literature Within a Teacher Preparation Program. Receiving a degree from the College of Science and Engineering, Dr. Anthony Sherman Reisinger, Doctor of Philosophy in Coastal Marine System Science. Assisting are Dean Frank Petzold and Dr. James Jabot, Committee Chair. Dissertation title, Suspended Sediment Dynamics of Texas Estuaries. Receiving a doctoral degree from the College of Science and Engineering, Dr. Maureen Claire Trinka, Doctor of Philosophy in Coastal and Marine Systems Science. Assisting are Dr. Dean Frank Petzold and Dr. Alberto Mestes Nunez, Committee Chair. Dissertation title, Associating Between Chlorophyll and Wind Forcing in the Gulf of Mexico Derived from Satellite Observations. Receiving a doctoral degree from the College of Science and Engineering, Dr. Ryan Earl Chavarria, Doctor of Philosophy in Marine Biology. Assisting is Dean Frank Petzl. Dissertation title, Evolution of the Genus Thysidium globidinae thysidiana. At this time, we will proceed by the order of college with the awarding of the master's degrees, assisted by interim provost Quintanilla, followed by the awarding of the bachelor's degrees, assisted by Dr. Paul Meyer, vice provost for academic affairs. Master of Accountancy, Michelle L. Alonso. Tamra Freed. Yungxing Lu. Hao Yu Tang. Sishi Zhou. Master of Business Administration, Julio Antonio Alo. Angela M. Barrera, Gerald Miller Camp, Shiwei Sen, Nat 
Natalia Andrea Chavez, Susan M. Diego, Xing Dong, Scott Richard Freshour, Ji Fu, Rosanna Vanessa Gomez Pachong, Tan Ming Ha, Kayla Marie Johnson, Rovim Katan, Courtney Rashea Krepa, Uktu Morathan, Teru Pacheco, Merle Yvonne Ramos Freitas, Miranda Chantel Rangel, JC Ann Reeves, Alva Janet Salinas, Conchi Zhang, Patricia Trevino, Ming Wan, Ming Ming Wang, Juji Wang, Yuenyor Wang, Wei Dong Yao, Lin Yuan, Hu Chen Zhu. College of Education, Master of Science, Joseph Michael Akers, Yanita Alanes, Yulelo Monet Kane, Amanda Casas Castaneda, Fadio Elizondo, Miranda Nicole Garcia, Christopher Lynn Garrett, Esther Gonzalez Powell, Carmen Veronica Hockmuller, Kelsey Hollis, Kadeen Melissa James McBride, David Wayne Kring, Crystal Yvonne Martinez, Lawrence Nikolov, Sharon Ann Nialette, Larry Pena, Jill Renee Roper, Brittany Ann Rubau, Sanigan Wutanawangun, Jennifer Bradley Weir, College of Liberal Arts, Kristen Ruggles, Giuliano Salmen, Demilorla Ardemamo, Arlene Medrano, College of Nursing and Health Sciences, Master in Science of Nursing, Tony Bayus Bay, Carmen Marie Chapman, Patricia G. Correa, Aaron Suzanne Dubner, Colleen Lene Ev, Veronica Renee Haywood, Emily Ryan McGahan, Lacey Danielle Stanley, Courtney K. Wolf, College of Science and Engineering, Master of Science Nada Ali F. Al Sheri, Yavuz Altu, <laughs> Melissa Ann Brewer. Douglas Allen Johnson, Danielle Julia Kleinhens,
Patricia Kartapali, Sahithi Kosa, Aravind Kumar, Amy Elizabeth Museko, Melissa Ray McCutcheon, Khan Tran Phuong Win, Tepjo Singh Saini, Andres Ramirez Aguilar, Youngfeng Wang, College of Business, Bachelor of Business Administration, Andres R. Acosta, Ahmed Samir A. Al Karashi, Angela Anderson, Stephanie Becerra, Angelica H. Blakes, graduating summa cum laude, Dustin Harrison Broadnax, Patrice Bryant, Ruben Brady Cardenas, graduating summa cum laude, Juan Javier Catalan, graduating magna cum laude, Kelly Ann Chancellor, Yifei Chen, Kelsey Clark Coates, Melissa Aneth Cordova, Yihei Deng, graduating cum laude, Clifford James Dennard, Gracie York Tinsdale, Jim Feliz, Elizabeth Elaine Franco, Mure Alisa Gonzalez, William M. Good, graduating cum laude, Labanya Carr, Sam Kearns, graduating summa cum laude, Kristen Langley, William Peyton Larkin III, Durham. Travis Durham Mendy, Carl Evan Messina, graduating cum laude, Miranda R. Montemayor, graduating cum laude, Vu Huai Wing, Diane Terrell Palmer, graduating summa cum laude, Desiree Perez, John Rocha, Hannah Rolak, Kayla Lynn Rose, Samson Salas Jr., Sochil Georgette Salazar, Vanessa Sanchez, graduating cum laude, Nora Mazli Binte Sayed, graduating cum laude, Caitlin Array Shed, Michael Scott Smith, Elizabeth Marie Soto, graduating cum laude, Delia Montoya Staten. Graduating cum laude, Christina Renee Vela. Graduating magna cum laude, Zhu Zhu. Graduating cum laude, Yu Fan Zhu. College of Education, Bachelor of Science, Jeremy Cornier. Mary Galvan. Miranda Marie Gonzalez, Emily Ann Hansen, graduating magna cum laude, Julie Aber, Alyssa Huerta, Daniel Anthony Lennon II, Gabriela Milagros Martinez, graduating magna cum laude, Pedro Martinez. Joshua Andrew Perez, Samantha Marie Pretty, Porfirio Ruiz, Samuel 
Nikki Schlanger, Kristen Lee Stevenson, Christina J. Talamantes, Fernando I. Torres, Ross Cameron Williams, Monica Marie Wynn, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Studies, Erica Gamez, Connie Christina Martin, Graduating Cum Laude, Danielle Marie Ramirez. College of Liberal Arts, Bachelor of Arts, Manuel Abascal de Aquino, Jessica Lynn Asbury, Caitlin Becco, Broderick C. Bennett, graduating cum laude, Shante Brunig, Norberto Buenrostro, Jr., Katie Mary Bukowski, Joseph Roberto Cabral, Jennifer A. Cantu, Taylor Amberly Leilani Cook, Brianna M. Corley, Marcos Juarez Keva, Ariam Ruby Espinoza, Marvin L. Fares, Jr. Graduating cum laude, Adrienne Renee Flores. Graduating cum laude, Victoria Garcia. Katie Joy Gonzalez. Whitley Sierra Hahn. Brianne Elea Hilaire. Lori Hernandez. Victor A. Hinojosa, Tara Lynn Jackson, Robin Jones, Rosie Marie Carnes, Miranda Nicole Lindley, Nathaniel Cole Maxwell, Samuel Jeffrey Meyer, Alyssa Moreno, Teresa Marie Perez, graduating cum laude, Melissa A. Hatfield, Kyle Austin Phillips, Cameron Owen Randall, Jesse Elizabeth Redmond, Graduating magna cum laude, Dixie Renfro. Graduating cum laude, Lourdes Rodriguez. Dina Ruiz. Bernard Jerome Seal. Graduating cum laude, Heather de la Cruz Salem. Nicholas James Taylor. Graduating cum laude, Anastasio Daniel Trevino, Bernadette Liana Turner, graduating cum laude, Laverne Turvetai, Sarah Ann Vasquez, Austin Edward Vaught, Brittany Wisey, Letitia Cantu, Claudia Yvette Carrillo, Pedro Emanuel Garcia, graduating magna cum laude, Dora R. Garza, Suzanne Sori Carujar, Christine Cazette Serenal, graduating cum laude, Jesus LMV Trevino, Benita Magdalene Ward, <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Albert Adami, Jr., 
Andrew Murphy Anderson. Isidro Arismendez IV. Monica A. Kalunga. Shelby Coppedge. Joe Flores, graduating su uh, cum laude, Samantha Nicole Garza, Samuel R. Gomez, Taylor Alexander Lambing, Alyssa Renee Miller, Shelton Hunter Mims, Cullen Moody, Cody Tyler Nakar, Juan Perez, Joel Reyes, January Elise Rowland, Derek Andrew Scott, Cade Stringer, Juliana Janelle Torres, Graduating magna cum laude, Patricia Elise Urkuski. College of Nursing and Health Sciences. Bachelor of Science in Health Sciences, Eric Burgess Cortez. Ilian Elizabeth Cantu. John Andrew Carrillo. Melissa Araceli Carreo, Melanie Rose Cavazos, Antoine Marcel Duhart, Christopher Bao Wynn, Veronica R. Perales, Brittany Roloff, Lisa Seracita Samley, Reese Ali, Graduating cum laude, Mary Frances Allman. Christopher Mireles Amaya. Esther Anoria. Graduating cum laude, Kimberly Barrett. Graduating cum laude, Terry Chase Bishop. Kristen Lynn Bowles. Leo Foss. Graduating cum laude, cum Alan Boizo. Graduating magna cum laude, Ashley Jean Burke. Amanda Campos. Adriana Lynette Carroll. Heather Lynn Carter. Graciela Maria Castilleja. Haley Michelle Choate, graduating magna cum laude, Eunice M. Chris, Caitlin Ann Davis, Renee Elizabeth Davis, Maxine Dusty Donna, graduating magna cum laude, Sharon Michelle Dooley, Denise Lynn Irwin, Jacqueline Estrada, Josh Nicholas Falcon, Helsia Garza, Gisela Garza, graduating cum laude, Mallory Garza, Brian Girl. Miriam Ghanem, Jessica Lee Gibbs, Tamara Kristen Glure, Nicholas Rhodes Graham, graduating cum laude, Guadalupe Hernandez, Melinda Rose Jordan, Desiree Maria Kaleev, Raymond Bautista Kliachko, Elaine Longoria, graduating summa cum laude, Sabrina Mendez Lopez, 
Graduating magna cum laude, Hannah Moore Manifold. <laughs> Graduating cum laude, Edith Martinez Nava. Melissa Martinez. Graduating magna cum laude, Alvaro Mayorga. Graduating cum laude, Christine Danielle McIntyre. Graduating magna cum laude, Cassandra Navarrete. Alexander Robert Newell. Melissa Mary McKirk. Heather Michelle Odom. Graduating cum laude, Whitney Lee Orzak. Markeju Parks. Stacy Ann Poole. Graduating cum laude, Philip Alexander Quintanilla. Andrea Lara Ramon. Lorena Rangel. Tiffany Allison Reese. Maricita Lizette Rincon. Graduating magna cum laude, Casey Mellon Ritter. Graduating cum laude, Sarah Maria Rodriguez. Graduating cum laude, Christina Monique Ruiz. Mark Anthony Ruiz. Sabrina Demi Sanz. Amanda Christine Salazar. Scott Richard Sandlin. Martha Sanz. Graduating magna cum laude, April Slowinski. Graduating magna cum laude, Hector C. Sosa. Richard Stepp. Megan Christine Stoffel. Teresa Torrio. Graduating cum laude, Leslie Ann Taylor. V. Tran. Lauren. Blair Trevino. Graduating cum laude, Wando Vivian Ugwu. Adriana Murphy Valles. Emily Lizette Vela. Amber K. Jewel Weibel. Candace Leanne Younger. Cheyenne Lee Youngman. Ching Jiang. College of Science and Engineering, Bachelor of Science, graduating summa cum laude, David R. Alanis II. Trevor Michael Ambrose. Elizabeth Athenea Bercera Gonzalez. Jacob Ryan Cano. Guillermo Castillo. Graduating cum laude, Nargis Dadashova. Lance Almudi de Leon. Asa Allen Dubberly. Esombi Elad. Edward Ashton Elizondo. Andrew Blake Garcia. Selena Renee Garcia. Marissa Danielle Gonzalez. Tomorrow Griffiths. Gilbert Guillen. Sunren Guo. Tabitha Alexandria Head. Matthew Ray Luna. Cody Jared McMillan. Joshua A. Moore. Graduating cum laude, Robert Lee Murphy. Amanda Jane Muse. Graduating summa cum laude, Joseph A. Olivares. Alvaro Peña. 
Tyler Peer. Bernice Ramirez Hernandez. Carlos Ramos. Sean Anthony Robinson, Jr. Vanessa Lee Robles. Scott Joseph Ronan. Maria Alexandra Ruiz. Julio Cesar Sanchez. Doan Ace. Katie Nicole Valentine. Jessica Cecilia Vasquez. Christopher H. Webb. Danielle Alisu Reiti. Lindsay D. Zimmerman. I'd like to ask all the graduates to please stand and let's give them a round of applause and congratulations. You may be seated. We will now proceed with the commissioning of officers in the United States Armed Services. I would like to confirm that Renee Elizabeth Davis and Cody Jared McMillan have met all the requirements to be commissioned officers in the United States Army. Commissioning will be done by Lieutenant Colonel Har Michael Harvey, Professor of Military Science. Defend the Constitution. To support and defend the Constitution. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And to bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And to bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. 
for purpose of evasion. For purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully. I will well and faithfully discharge the duties. Discharge the duties of the office of the office in which I'm about to enter. In which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. also like to recognize all, our, all of our veterans and active duty service men and women in, the, in attendance today. Would you please stand and, and uh, allow us to thank you for your service. Thank you. I would now like to call upon Mr. Ray De Los Santos, President of the Texas A&M University Corpus Christi National Alumni Association, to welcome you on behalf of the Alumni Association. Thank you, President Killebrew. Today, you join the ranks of more than 42,000 alumni who have graduated from this great university. The Alumni Association will be your new connection to the island. You will enjoy staying in touch through islanderalumni.org and fun events throughout the year. So, to our newest alumni, go forth bravely knowing you are well equipped. Do better than well. Soar to heights unknown. Achieve what others thought impossible. But always, always keep your alma mater in your hearts and in your minds. Now, on behalf of the National Alumni Association, I welcome you as Islander alumni. Graduates, you have many people to thank for reaching this point in your life. Will all the mothers, fathers, spouses, children, and other family members of the graduates please stand? Graduates, I think you should thank them for getting you here today. The history of Texas A&M University Corpus Christi goes back more than 65 years. We began as the area's premier institution of higher education in 1947, and we continue to build a legacy of excellence today. You can all be proud to be alumni of the Island University, the only university in the, island, in the nation located on its own island. Please join me in singing our official alma, alma mater, led by our singers, the alma mater can be found on the back of today's program and on the jumbotron screen above me.
thank you to our great singers. And you may be seated. As we conclude this commencement ceremony, I would like to thank Ms. Terry McDevitt for her greetings and Councilwoman Colleen McIntyre for her commencement address. The music today is being performed by the Islander Brass Quintet. My sincere thanks to the members of the quintet for the wonderful music. Let's give these folks a round of applause. I'd also like to thank all of you who came today to honor our graduates. This is a special day and one day will, I hope, cherish forever. For the safety of our guests, please remain seated until after the platform party and graduates have exited the arena. Graduates will be exiting out of the building towards the Shoreline Boulevard. Please meet with them there. Thank you and have a great afternoon.